y'all welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is katie and i make stuff vegan okay so boom so like low key i think like i'm in my baking era because i ain't gonna hold you i'm kind of eating it up like not to be like cocky or anything but i just think about like when i first started this channel i was like i don't bake and now me i bake I me mean, i do every 10 and like these patties are one so special to me because you know one thing i like to say on this channel is just because you're vegan doesn't mean you have to give up your you know your cultural foods and you know as a jamaican american i haven't given up anything okay besides the meat part and the dairy part like we making curry we making jerk we doing all that and like that means a lot to me and then also you know me i be it gonna turn out nice we'll set the bread nice and nice and nice gone to bed so if you want to see how I made Jamaican beef patties vegan, you know, the little cocoa bread vegan, también. keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to never miss any of my videos. And as always, the link to the detailed recipe will be in the description box below. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I ain't gonna hold you, y'all. We're gonna be here for a little minute. I haven't made a video this long in a little minute, okay? But it's lots of steps and it's super worth it. Okay, so we're gonna start off by making the patty filling. Now I will say in all transparency, I changed the order of what I did everything in for it to make more sense for the video. So I'm gonna tell you how I did it in real time so it makes sense. So I started out by making the filling because I wanted the filling to cool off because you don't wanna put hot filling in a butter pastry because then you'll be looking crazy. We don't want you looking crazy, okay? So I'm starting off by making like the little seasoning bit. I don't even know what to call this. Marinade, it's not a marinade. So just, just go on with it, okay? <laughs> so I have half an onion, half a large onion. I have scallion. I have a whole bunch of garlic because it's me. Okay, I thought I had fresh thyme and I came and looked at my fridge. May I tear up my fridge? I'm looking at my fridge, I don't see no thyme. So save the think piece, all right? I know you're supposed to use fresh thyme, all right? My grandpa used to be a gardener in Jamaica. I know, I mean a farmer, okay? I know you're supposed to use fresh thyme, okay? And then browning, you have to use browning. I would not skip the browning because the browning is what gives like the inside its color. And then I stepped outside of the island of Jamaica. I don't know, I'm addicted to Sazon. I be putting in everything. I'm making tofu, Sazon. I'm making this, Sazon. Burger, Sazon. Like, I don't know, like, period okay so i cooked down the abundant mixture um until the water dried out of it then i added my impossible beef i didn't have a whole packet because i used it to make some but you can use <laughs> the whole packet because i didn't use all of the the mixture either but if you use the whole packet like the whole quarter pound whatever 12 ounce packet of impossible meat beyond beef whatever then this everything will work out if you don't you like the fake meat business i understand you can use mushrooms you can use don't use chickpeas. I was gonna say you can use chickpeas. That's, that's weird though. You can use tofu. Listen, nobody not come to your yard. I'll tell you what to do. Okay, so the little like mixture you saw me pour in. I also don't have breadcrumbs here. When did I stop having breadcrumbs? When did I run out of breadcrumbs? That's crazy. Like when did I run out? So I just uh, mashed up um, a piece of ciabatta in some water and put that in. I put that in the recipe because it worked like so well. It just made the consistency so nice. Okay, so time to make the pastry. Now I didn't make the pastry right away. I actually made the cocoa bread right away, but after that, but you know, just so you know. Okay, so I mixed together ice cold water. You want ice cold water because you're, you're making like a pie crust type of thing. Um, turmeric for the color and a little bit of curry powder for the color. Now, I would just trust that mixture. I ended up adding more turmeric later on. You'll probably see that. And I wouldn't really recommend that because then it gives it like this curry flavor, which is not bad. You know, anybody mad with a little curry, ain't nobody mad at that. But it's like, you want it, you don't want the star of the show to be the curry. You want the star of the show to be the filling. I forgot to turn my air off. That's great. Anyway, we move. <laughs> Let me stay focused. I'm focusing. Here we go. Um, so yeah, let's let's get into it. It's it's over there in the background. Okay, so I have two cups of flour, I have a little bit of sugar, maybe like a tablespoon, a little bit of salt, and now I'm cutting, I'm putting this unsalted butter in. Um, yeah, I cannot find my country crock plant butter no more here in Memphis. Like, what's going on with it? I had to buy this expensive butter from Whole Foods. It was $7. Yo. Anyway, so I'm breaking um, the butter, cutting it into the um, 
into the flower. I actually really like this part because it gives like that space sand we had when we were kids. And what you're looking for is for it to, um, when you when you fissy up, <laughs> it clumps together. Okay, so now I'm gonna slowly add the um, mixture in and you slowly add it in because you don't know how the atmosphere is doing this thing. You don't wanna put all of it in at once. Now you have a, a, a batter, right? You see me adding extra turmeric, I mean, Mega eat mine, me love mine, but like that's just something to keep in mind. Like it just made it taste a little bit more like curry. -y -y. I don't mind it, but just don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Just trust a little water. You might see some re recipes tell you to use like a yellow food dye, like food dye, dye. Wow, that's crazy. I have several degrees. I'm not editing that out though. You might see some recipes ad asking you to use a yellow food dye. Just be mindful that those typically are not vegan. Like the Badia has one, like a yellow food dye and just do the natural way with the turmeric and a curry powder. I would use Jamaican curry powder because you're already over here. You know what I'm saying? You use brown in you, they use this, you they use that. Get the Jamaican curry powder. It's not expensive if you go to like an international market. Okay, time to roll out the dough. So I roll it out, folded it, roll it again. So I'm creating these layers. Now in the recipe, I put that this is optional to put a little more butter in, but my thing is like, you already making a pati, you know what I'm saying? Like you might've well just go all the way. <laughs> you might, you might've make it flicky and nice. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, you know, cutting, you know, it's just a little, it's a little butter. Okay. So my thing started sticking to um, my rolling pin. And what I realized the second time around, cause I have to cut mine in half. What I realized is that just add more flour if it's, that the butter starts to stick to the rolling pin. It's also melting because like, you know, it's been 100 degrees here in Memphis. Air conditioning can only do so much, but just add, just add more flour to the surface. Keep rolling, keep it pushing. Okay, so I stuck it in the fridge for 30 minutes, took it back out, and now it's time to make my little pot to them. All right, so I'm rolling it out, and I'm gonna roll it out to like an eighth of an inch thick, uh, like that. And I'm gonna take this bowl. So the size of your patties, it's gonna depend on the size of your bowl. Now for me, <laughs> the only bigger bowl I have than this is a square bowl. I'm gonna want a square patty. And then I have a dinner bowl. So what we gonna have, like one mega patty? You see how I was making sense? So I have very small patty, but like I was fine and I was content with it. So I put the bowl down and I went around the edge of it, look at my filling. It cooled down real nice. It just looked nice. So you're gonna take some of the mixture and put it in the middle. Don't use too much. Or you're gonna be embarrassed, you're gonna have a mess. And why you want that? Why you wanna deal with that? You don't, okay? So don't put too much. It might look like too much, but like, it's not. Don't, don't, not too much on me. <laughs> okay, so then you're going to um, fold it over and you're gonna pinch it close with your fingers, just like I'm doing. And then you're gonna take the, a fork and you're gonna go crimpy. So, you know, you have like a nice little design or whatever. Um, and yeah, that's it. So, it's a, it's a little laborious, but you know, we're here and we're, we're, we're showing up and we're having a good time. Look like you're pretty. Right, true. Okay, and here they are at the oven. I put it on 375 for like 20 minutes. And there they go. And when you break it open, look at that, John. Yeah, flick yeah, nice. Yeah. All right, true, I saw it fit done. All right, so let's make the cocoa bread now. So I have two tablespoons of, am I good? two tablespoons of melted butter, and I'm gonna take um, three fourths cup of coconut milk. <laughs> I forgot what it was called. It's really on the can of coconut milk. Um, and I melted the butter separately because I already learned from my chicken minis video that you don't wanna do it all at once because then you have to wait for it to cool down. You want the coconut milk and the butter mixture, the vegan butter mixture to be at at lukewarm so you can put it in the microwave for like 30 minutes 30, oh, <laughs> don't do that 30 seconds and then mix it up and then just like wait five minutes because you don't want to kill the yeast because if you kill the yeast ain't nothing finna rise and it's gonna get very much matzah and you don't want that okay so while it's blooming I'm, I'm gonna go over here and make, mix my dry ingredients so i got two cups of flour two tablespoons of sugar you know a little bit of this a little bit of that of salt you know a little you know, do you have to do? It's like a teaspoon. I don't know. And then I'll mix it together. And in the same way I did my pot to them, I'm gonna do the same the same method where I'm going to gradually add the liquid. You see how foamy it is? Science is cool. A black woman in STEM. You see me? 
yeah okay anyway you're gonna slowly add the mix shot in i forgot to add the just egg to the um to the coconut milk mixture but don't worry about that i like using just egg i would use a flax egg well i didn't use a flax egg because i'm gonna want to speckle speckle up cocoa bread because people gonna be like what is that why I speckle up but um you could use an egg replacer. I know there's a couple of them, but Just Egg is so accessible now. Trader Joe's even got a Just Egg dupe. Have y'all tried that? Let me know how it is. Cause I was not gonna pay $5.99 for that because y'all are bugging. <laughs> Why would I pay $5.99 for Trader Joe's when I could pay $3.99 for the regular one? But anyway, I like to put a little bit in there because the original re recipe asked for an egg. I'm sure it will probably work without egg because yeast rolls don't have egg in them, but I was not gonna press my luck, okay? Then I put on a flour surface and I kneaded it for 10 minutes. I was like, damn, I was kneading, thinking about life and stuff. 10 minutes be a long time though, I ain't gonna hold you. Like, I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm about to get seven, I ain't gonna lie to you. But, okay, so now I'm gonna cover it up <laughs> and I'm going to let it rise for 30 minutes. I put it in my microwave. I didn't turn it on, obviously. I didn't turn it on, but I just let it, you know, sit in there. And then here it is, all soft and nice. I'm rolling it out into five pieces of bread. You can do six, you can do them smaller, do you want to do? All right, but I'm, I did five or whatever. Um, it was so soft and nice. I was like, no, for real, I'm in my baking era. This is insane, this is insane. Okay, so I'm gonna take them and I'm going, the little balls, and I'm gonna roll them out into these like circles, like these half, these discs, things, you know? And the second time I'm really old. All right, here we go. Why do I make these clips so long? That's crazy. But you know, I wanted to show you the real experience. You know, what I was going through. I was like, my feet hurt. <laughs> I was sitting up like all day. No, I'm lying. It wasn't all day, but it did take me from start to finish. Everything probably took me like three hours. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some melted butter on the inside of it. You know, you could skip this if you want to. I've seen people do it with melted butter. I've seen people do it without, but like I, I personally wouldn't skip it. And then uh, you fold it over, and that's it. And you do for the rest of them. You don't. You don't have to like um, pinch them close. Just just fold them over because you're gonna open it at the end. Okay, cover it. Let it do a second rise for like ten minutes, and then it's ready to bake. Look how look how big they got. Period. Okay, so then I'm gonna brush the tops with some melted butter as well. I forgot to say this. I'm gonna brush the tops with some melted butter as well, and then look all them pretty. No. No, look at that pretty. Yeah. So now I'm gonna do it, you know, in Jamaica, you know what I'm saying? That's how you get it. You get some cocoa bread and then you put your potty in there. Right true. Right true, right true, right true. Y'all, this had me like so nostalgic. I've had a patty since, you know, like I've had, um, you know, I forgot where I got it from. Like Publix has like the plant-based patties in the box you know what i'm saying um i went to what's that restaurant what's that jamaican restaurant i went to i don't remember when i was in new jersey they have a vegan patty i've had patties since being vegan but like nah this was this was good and i made it myself and you can too thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe so you never miss any of my videos let me know what you thought about this videos i love to see y'all comments i'm gonna catch up y'all i'm gonna catch up i love to see y'all comments i love reading them Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye y'all.